Okay, guys, I'm here today for Lachlan Giles. Huge honor for me. Guys, one week after the ADCC, and the Lachlan was probably like the break breakthrough star of the ADCC. Uh, he got third place in the open class, just wa weighing like 75 kilos, which is like probably like 165 pounds or something like that. So, guys, such a big honor. Oh, Lachlan, appreciate you being here for us. And, uh, guys, today Lachlan is going to teach us how to use Hafger against wrestlers. So he's, he, Lachlan is actually also the national freestyle champion on wrestling in Australia. And, uh, and he has an instruction of the Hafger Anthology. That's one of the best selling structures on bggfanatics.com. And uh, so I'm super excited to learn from him. And Hafger is one of my favorite techniques. So I want to see what Lachlan has there. So All right. there you go. Let's do it. Um, so I think the first, that we'll probably cover two, two parts to this. But one is like getting in and, and getting the underhook, okay? Which is like, I'm gonna work from the underhook yeah. to, to get the, to try to get a sweep. Uh, and then the second part's gonna be like, once I have the underhook uh, and, and Bernardo's pressuring heavy, how do I actually try to set up a sweep on someone who's doing that? Who gets like a strong whizzer and, and so on. Okay? Yeah, so, so yeah, we were just discussing that here, guys. Like I think what wrestlers does, that's very, very annoying. They do the kind of yeah. like the folding here and they back up right so they don't give you the chance to involve with the legs and to get the other hook yeah so how do you deal with that all right like, um let's let's first look at positioning okay so actually we might, can we just do the same thing but from the other side yes so i want to the, the thing i'm going to try and do like i need to get you i need to like move down your body quite a lot and you're going to keep backing away as i as i do that okay so i need to make i need to kind of like lift your lift lift you up a little bit to get underneath you, but I also want to try and pull you forward. Okay? Yeah. So, first thing, which is something I do, which uh, I don't see taught too often, but when I have my knee shield, I always put it in in front of the shoulder. I don't like it low here. Here, I'm never going to get through for the for the underhook. Okay, if I can have it in front of the shoulder, and I use my left foot quite actively pushing against Bernardo's shoulder here. Okay, this really reinforces my ability to flare out. If I don't have that, he can smash my leg really easy. Okay. When I put my foot here, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult, okay? On top of that, I will put my left elbow inside my knee. Oh, let's turn to see that now. So I'll have my knee shield here, and I'll put my elbow inside my knee like this to reinforce that, and my hand swims up. It has to, you have to with your hand, like grip over the top of the shoulder, but here's no good, okay? Bernardo can smash his head down through that. Yes, okay. But when I grip here, if he tries to smash the head down, it's a little harder. All right, so I've got this, and this is making it, like it's, Bernardo probably can't go too much lower than he is. I can't lift him up from here, but I can stop him going uh, lower than there, all right? From here, I'm gonna start to do this, like, you're gonna have to use like a good forward and backward motion to slowly work underneath. So first thing, I don't try and reach here. He's block. he's ready for that, he's blocking. I'm not gonna get under his legs now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to get up, okay? Let's get up on my hand here, and now, Bernardo, if he wants to put, like, try and push me back down, he's now got some forward momentum, okay? Or even if he's backing away, I've got much better chance at, at getting underneath. Let's just turn a little so. Okay. So once I'm there, I'm gonna, my aim is going to be to bring Bernardo forward. I'm going to reach under with my right arm, like this, and try and bring his hands to the mat, okay? Okay, look at that again. Right here, I get up, and I bring him forward, okay? Now, personally, I don't use deep half. As much you definitely if, you, if you're a deep half player like Bernardo you would go deep half I here, would but, love that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> for me I try to get the underhook so now that I'm here I can easily swing my left hand through and get an underhook all right and this starts to let me get like once Bernardo settles his base back I can start getting up and I start getting my underhook attack going okay now let's just have a look at that because he had the Bernardo had this weave grip here which is quite strong I will never be able to like, you just hold that tight. I'm not gonna be able to kick that arm free here, but when I pull him forward, I will be able to. Okay? When I'm here, I get up and I roll through. Hold that weird grip now, Bernardo. Yes. Ooh, I can kick it out with my leg. Good. Okay. Then I can start to attach the leg and start getting up, right? Um, I do wanna talk a little bit, so, uh, let, let, uh, stay a little heavier and just go forward like a tiny bit, because in reality, it's usually kind of like, now we go here, and then I get back up, and I go again, and I'm slowly working into it. 
into a good underhook like this, right? So just so you know, like it's usually when you're sparring, it's, it's a, a bit of a lot of back and forth. It's usually not like a one, one right. single motion like that, right? right? Uh, once I get the, the underhook here, and Bernardo's got a heavy, um, he's very heavy with the wizard, okay? So what's gonna be very difficult here is, is for me to get up and drive in and drive forward because of that pressure, okay? So I'm actually going to roll underneath again, and I'm gonna change my feet. So I'm gonna roll under, and I'm gonna pull Bernardo's hips up, and I'm gonna change feet here, okay? With this, all right, so see how he's got the wizard? My left hand's holding the hip, my right hand's gonna hold the leg here, I'm gonna use knee pressure to roll him over. So I will back heel like this, I make his knee 90 degrees, and then I wanna slide my right leg until his knee sits on top of my thigh, just here, okay? Watch this now. Bernardo is not leaning enough that I can pull him over here, but I can scoop my leg to the right, and this starts to lever his knee. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. <laughs> and I start to come up. So what's actually taking, if Bernardo goes back, uh, just go to your knees here. Face this way, yeah. Uh, uh, up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Onto your knees, so just okay. go. Oh, all my knees. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to do to, to force him over is like pressure the knee here and lever like that. And as it goes here, I start to move my, my legs under this knee, pressure the ankle and the knee, and this starts to take Bernardo over like that. Okay, so we go. So guys, a good parenthesis here is that uh, uh, Locus, um, he has a PhD on physiotherapy for... <laughs> knee rehabilitation. Yeah, yeah so, so everything that involves knees, he knows what he's doing, so... <laughs> so, we've got the, uh, let's turn a bit, we've got the underhook. It's, and, and Bernardo's very heavy, so I can't drive forward. I'm gonna reach to the hip, I roll under, and I pull tight, okay? So everything's like locked in. Chest forward, tight here, all right? So what you'll notice, I've trapped the leg, or my left leg's trapping the leg. Here's not very good lever, okay? So just, just stay up, but I don't like, half meter lever in here. I let his knee sit on the inside of my thigh, or top of my thigh there, okay? Now, even now, if you, if you stay heavier this way, I can't pull you over, but when I start scooting, ah, out to my right, like this, I start to take him over. Okay, and then I start to roll on top. So essentially what you're trying to do, you, especially if they're big and strong and heavy, you're not gonna pull them from one side of you to the other, that requires strength. We're gonna move ourselves underneath our opponent. It's important as you do this, that you're squaring up as you as you get out. So it's not just like that, it's like I'm starting to face my, each time I do this, my hip space is a little more vertical, which helps to, to tilt him. So guys, uh, really, really cool uh, uh, what Locke just showed because uh, coincidence or not, this is exactly what I do in that situation. Can oh, I really? show you? Yeah, uh, yeah. What I so every time I want to have her and the guy doesn't let me get here on this leg, he hides this leg. That's pretty much what I do. I place this hand in the shoulder and I push him away. Now look how closer this leg is to me, right? But what, and then I can just like go to the, or deep half her or switch back to the single leg halfway, right? But uh, what I really like of Lachlan showing is that pretty much everything that he showed, I had seen before, but he did in a way with some very small details and he explained in a way that I had never seen. So for example, this thing that you showed in the very last move, yeah. that you kind of clear my knee and yeah. then you start to ease can you yeah. show that yeah, part yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you don't want to, it's a, it's a real, like subtle point, thing, but yeah. yeah, like I don't want your knee to the ground either. If your knee go, here I don't have as good leverage because I'm not actually at your knee. Like I want it on my thigh here, okay? I don't want it inside, and I don't want it too much here. I want it to be like there. And ah. I can really pressure that. Yes, yes. Away. Yeah, that's amazing. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like I, I, I knew that we had to do something with the knee over there, but I could never explain like exactly what's that. So that was a very, very good, Thank you. Explanation. Like, so guys, uh, make sure to check at bggfanatics.com. We have the uh, half guard anthology by Lachlan Giles. And it's very, very good. It's all no gi. That uh, many times you see people who do half guard very well, but it's hard to translate gi to no gi. So Lachlan does that amazingly well. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Lachlan. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. 
And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster.